hi guys, my name is Ken and I'm Caleb and we're co-founders of Financial Hub. So today we're going to talk about forex trading in Kenya and to be specific we'll tackle some of the challenges that forex traders are going through while they're trying to trade the forex markets in Kenya. Yeah, so a few months ago we posted an article on our website uh, which we'll talk to you about at the end of the video and we talked about the challenges facing forex trading in Kenya and um, it cost a few bars here and there so we decided to do a video so that we can share with you what challenges we've been facing and what we think other people have been facing in Kenya and the wrong biases that people have so we'll have we'll mainly go through four challenges that we highlighted those are the four main challenges that we thought guys were going through and I'll start off by the first challenge that most people are going through is trading binary options instead of the forex market so binary options entails buying and selling but it's called put and call and has an expiry date of about 15 seconds so you basically use your phone to try and analyze and see where the markets are going not really analyze but speculate where the markets are going and it expires within 15 seconds and you most of the people lose money in fact that's gambling that's not forex trading the forex market is quite different you execute positions and hold positions for the time that you want there are multiple time frames to be used in execution and analysis so the forex market is really different from binary options and we think that if you are trading binary options instead of the forex market then you could be doing the wrong thing so that was one of the main challenges that we, we really encountered yes yeah, second um in our challenges is having undercapitalized accounts so what do we mean by undercapitalized accounts well many people think if they can start with little money and make millions of dollars um in the forex market well we're here to tell you that that is completely impossible um, you can start with $100 or $50 and by that we mean 5,000 Kenya shillings, 2,000 Kenya shillings and expect to make a million out of that. Well, in the forex market, just like any other business, you need enough amount of capital so that you can be able to, um, to have a risk management skill um, and also have different opportunities because if you're, if you're undercapitalized, you'll see different opportunities that you can't take because you're simply undercapitalized. So, Having an undercapitalized account with 5,000 bob, 10,000 is really little. So we advise people to start with a bit more, not less than $500, which is 50,000 Kenya shillings in the forex market. So the third challenge that we really discovered that most people were doing was using the wrong approach to trade the financial markets. So in the markets, you're going against some of the brightest minds. You're going against algorithms. You're going against hedge fund managers. Guys who have been trading for more than decades so it's not advisable to start trading and expect to make money very fast you need to sit down come up with a solid strategy and to manage money to come up with ideas to execute your positions to enter and exit trades and this will take time and fine lining and fine tuning some of the systems and doing a b c d learning a lot so the wrong approach is really something that you have discovered most people are doing in the markets and We've been glad to share with some of the guys some of the methods that we're using in analyzing markets and coming up with ideas. And the guys have been really thankful to us for helping them. So I think using the wrong approach to analyze the markets and to come up with ideas is also a key challenge. Yeah, number four, and to sum up on that, um, uh, the fourth challenge is having unrealistic learning curves. And what do we mean by that? Basically, people think they can come to the Forex market and become successful in two months, in three months, and they travel all over around the world. Well, that was the dream we had at first. Well, my friend here, Kenneth, had an account which he blew. He thought we were going to Dubai because he was really multiplying it in weeks. And one week later, all of it was gone. And from then, we sat down and decided, okay, this is a really serious industry. We need to sit down and be able to be profitable. So we've been trading for the past now about two years. And from that experience and the knowledge you've gathered along the way, um, it takes time to develop your skills and to become a master in this um, industry, it takes time. So we want to tell you here and foremost that you cannot trade uh, or become a successful trader within a week or two weeks. That is something that people believe in Kenya and they keep calling us and telling us when will I be profitable, when will I be successful and not to tell you here that you need, to, you need time. If you want to be, enter this space, this industry, just know you're going to um, sacrifice a lot and dedicate a lot of your time into learning this skill in order to become profitable. Yeah. So the good news is, out of the four challenges that we highlighted, I and Caleb have been working on something that can solve at least three of those problems. And I think I'll pass it on to Caleb to share with you what you've been working on and how it can be of help to you. 
So yeah, here at Financial Hub, we've been working on a course which many people have been asking us, when are we releasing our course? How can you teach us how to become traders? And we really took this seriously and a few months from now we'll be launching our course and we are revolutionizing the way people learn and it will be an online platform, we won't have um, a classroom or a structured place. It will be online where you can learn anywhere from home, from work, at your free time and um, at any time you want. So that will be coming to you soon, which we'll be announcing. So you can contact us guys on the different social media platforms. On Instagram it's financial underscore hub. On Twitter, financial hub underscore ke. On Facebook, financial hub. And on the site, our link to the site is www.financialhub.co.ke. On YouTube, we also have a channel where we share our analysis, weekly analysis, financial underscore hub. So make sure you subscribe, guys, and make sure you follow us to receive some content that is coming up. Yeah, to add on that, our site, we post articles on a weekly basis on our analysis and our approach to the markets and also articles on psychology of how people trade and how people think. So you can um, um, visit our site and see what we do. Apart from that, thank you guys for watching this video. We have a ton of uh, videos and content coming up about the financial industry in Kenya and around the world. So subscribe and see you soon. See you soon, guys.